What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and today is that special Verizon event thingy which means we have a chance at a shiny fairy seed which I actually just instanced one and it's not shiny. You'll know because it's a silver color still but it'll turn blue and I really want that because the Pharaoh Thorn looks amazing as well. But not only that, we've got ourselves a nice little special research here so let's look into it or a limited time research. So we got to power up a Pokemon 10 times, catch 15 Pokemon and give your buddy three treats. All very easy, all very simple, so let's do it. Another cool thing spawning off these incenses are gonna be the V and Z unknowns, which is really cool, because they're both pretty rare, especially the Z unknown. The Z unknown has barely ever shown up, so very, very happy to see it. Sadly, they cannot be shiny, which, man, I really wish they could be shiny, because imagine getting a Z shiny unknown. That'd be probably one of the shi rarest shiny unknowns there is. Man, it's really windy out here. Hopefully it's not getting picked up on the mic too much. But anyways, we've completed page one, so let's claim our rewards. We got a thousand XP, we're gonna get ourselves a thousand dust, and our encounter is with a spoink. Hey, interesting, possible shiny. Don't know why we're getting that though, but it's cool. Also, while we're catching this, I gotta say, what's going on with this, uh, with the wild spawns? I could swear they said there was gonna be different wild spawns, including the instant spawns, but I'm seeing nothing but the uh, current animated event spawn, so I don't know what's going on with that, but. Anywho, let's just keep going. I incense a Squirtle, not a good thing to incense. Let's just keep going, claim the rewards. We're gonna get ourselves three incenses. We're gonna get ourselves a thousand Stardust and our encounter is with a Chansey, which sadly isn't shiny. And I don't know if 520, 520 is pretty good, but I think you want it to be in the 530s for a hundo. So good luck and hopefully you got a shundo. Now for page two, what we have to do is make 15 nice throws, transfer 20 Pokemon. I already did that on accident, but there we go, and evolve five Pokemon. All very simple, very easy, and let's see what the incense brings in real quick, just in case it's a Pharisee. Please. Oh, it's an Absol. That's cool. Sadly not shiny, though. I'm happy to say I found a little bit of a break from the wind here, so that's really good. So let's claim our rewards for completing page two. We get a thousand more XP, a thousand more dust, and we're also going to get ourselves a Wild Sun Kern, and we're going to dismiss that I don't know why I had that alarm set, but whatever. And our final rewards are a star piece. We also get ourselves a thousand stardust and an encounter with a swaddle. Cool. Now onto the next page. We must make five great curveball throws, catch 15 Pokemon, and power up a Pokemon 10 times. Easy, easy, especially when you have a ton of spawns around you like this and a strangely incensed Sableye. Cool. Well, this page was easy to complete, so let's get our thousand again, a thousand dust, and our encounter this time is with a Bronzor, which could have been shiny. They just do have high shiny rates, and from what I'm hearing for the Tiny Cup, Bronzor is actually pretty good. So if you actually plan on doing the Season 5 of Go Battle League, get yourself a Bronzor and get a really good one because they uh, max out really close to 500, which is good. You want Pokemon like that for a cup like this. And for the final rewards, we get Lucky Egg, we get Stardust, and an encounter with a Pharisee. Sadly not shiny, that would have been really cool, but hey, at least we get a decently good one, hopefully. So I was a fool and accidentally didn't record myself collecting these other rewards, but we didn't have to do anything. They were just given to us, and a Charizard was one of the middle encounters. This isn't the final reward, so it's cool we got this. It's a pity it's not a shiny, though. Imagine if we got a shiny Charizard from this quest. That would have been really neat. And here's our final rewards, a thousand dust. And we also got Mega Energy for something, I don't know what. And our encounter is with a Gibble. Man, I wish that was shiny. 472, no idea if that's good or not, but that's still an awesome reward. Happy to get it. I do have a few hundos, so I'd be down with another one just to complete the team. My goodness, come on, JT. You know how to throw, right? There we go, we hit it. Well, it turns out this Gibble is surprisingly good. Take a look at this. It is a 14, 15, 14. That's not bad at all. I'm actually very happy with that. But with that Gibble, that is the end of the limited research, so what we're going to do now is we're going to keep walking around and incensing stuff, and hopefully we'll get ourselves a shiny Ferris Seed. I've seen a lot of people getting them. I'm sure the shiny rate's higher, and they should be higher for an event like this, so let's go out there and let's get it. So I've barely traveled at all since that last clip, and look what we got ourselves, a shiny freaking Ferris Seed. Love to see it. It's 200 CD. It's a little one. And I'm fine with that because I actually want a good one for PvP. I don't really use Pharisee too often, or Ferrothorn specifically, but it is good for PvP and I would love to flex one. But, uh-oh, you're gonna, oh man, it broke out. That's not good, we can't have that. Let's get ourselves a Ultra Ball this time. No plan around, boom. I am so happy we got this thing. I was really hoping, I was a little worried too because we're a full, oh my god, are you, are you gonna really do this to me right now? But yeah, we're a full 45 minutes into this event and I wasn't getting any shinies, so I was a little worried. Please get caught. 
I even did a thumb curveball throw for you. One, dose. There we go. My goodness, that scared the hell out of me. I really thought that was gonna get away. But yeah, there we go. Our first shiny fur seed. Super awesome. Let's take a look at those IVs. Not great at all, but that's fine. It's a shiny and I love it. So let's keep going. Let's get one more at least so we can complete the family and just see how many we can get. I really do love the fact that we are incensing Charizards. Sadly, this one is not shiny, but they are weather boosted. Ooh, wow, that's a big one, 2472. I'll try to catch this, and if it's good, I'll show you. But yeah, the incense is bringing in some really neat stuff. The only time that I don't like it is when it brings in the Squirtles and the Bulbasaurs. Everything else is great. Absol, cool. It brings in Pikachus, which have the little world cap on them. So it's good. I'm really enjoying it. Alright guys, I've made it back home because the event is officially over. It was only three hours, and it was pretty okay. I mean, as you can see right here, we had a lot of Fear Seed encounters. In fact, I want to say I had a good probably 50 plus of them. I didn't catch every single one of them. I was trying to quick catch them because I didn't want to spend too much time on them, but yeah. I also caught a few more things, obviously, in between. I just started deleting them because I was running out of space, yada yada, but... Yeah, I'm happy though. I mean, the fact of the matter is we got the shiny, which is great, out of everything, even though we only got one shiny today, it's literally the new one, and I'm very happy about that. Again, the IVs on this thing are not that great, but nonetheless, it's still very, very cool. And I mean, we got a good gibble. This gibble is a 96% that I should probably favorite. There we go. And yeah, everything else was okay. Actually, never checked the swaddle just to see if that was good, even though these things aren't good, period. Yeah, it's not that amazing, but... You know, good rewards all in all, I'd say. I mean, there was the Chansey, could have been shiny. Spoink, could have been shiny. There was a Pharisee in there, which also could have been shiny. The Gibble. I mean, I believe that has a 1 in 50, 1 in 75 rate of being shiny, so you get at least one chance of that, which is awesome. So, in the end of the day, it's pretty cool. I will say that I made a big mistake there, that I thought that these things would be in the wild, like the Sawaddles and Gibbles and stuff like that, but I misread it. That's not how it is. Like, it was just going to be normal event spawns or whatever, and then these things were going to be our rewards, and then it was the incense that was only bringing stuff in. So, yeah, all in all, pretty cool. I'm down with it. I think that, you know, we should just evolve this thing. I mean, we got lucky. We got on the first day. It doesn't have the best IVs, and usually I wait until I get my second one, but screw it. We're going to do it right here. Shiny freaking Ferrothorn. Looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. This has an amazing shiny. Just an amazing shiny. Ready for it? Three, two, one. It's right there. Ooh, God, that looks so good. The gold, the reddish pink. Oh my God. That is phenomenal. Look at that. That is really, really good. If I were to put this into Great League, just for fun's sake, do you know if I just wanted to be somebody who flaunted a shiny in there, what would it be? It would be a 1485, huh? That's not bad. I mean, who knows? Maybe tomorrow during the Grubhub event, we might actually get another one that might be better, or maybe it'll also be trash and it doesn't matter in the first place, but I'm very happy with this. This is... This is really good. I've been looking forward to this shiny for a long time. So all in all, I would say that the Verizon event was pretty good, you know? I mean, it was literally just good spawns off of the incense and with a fun little quest to the side. And since it was free for me, I really don't have much room to complain. I will say that their shiny rates were not raised at all. They seem to be base rates, but it looks like since, you know, Pharaoh Seed is supposed to be a pretty rare spawn and usually only comes out of like 10 kilometer eggs and such, it has about a 1 in 75 odd chance, about the same as like an Absol, which were also coming off the incense. So, you know, basically any rare spawn chances, that's what you're going to be getting with this event. But you do have the incense that seems to be a little bit more powerful than the usual incenses. It seems to bring in something every minute, which is really nice. And there was a lot of Pharaoh Seed checks for me and a lot of Absol checks. A lot of unknowns, you know. It's fun. I'd say it's fun. As for the Grubhub thing, it's literally going to be the same thing. You guys that are playing it tomorrow, this is what you're seeing. And I'm thinking for tomorrow, 
I'm just gonna live stream it for fun, you know? Let's just sit down in front of people for three hours and just live stream, see if we get the second shiny one. It would be cool if we do, but if not, then whatever. But if you're not already following me on the Twitch channel, I haven't plugged it in forever, it is twitch.tv forward slash JT underscore Valor. You can find a link in the description box below to go there. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Come and hang out. We might get a second shiny Ferris seed, but if not, we're still gonna have a good time and hanging out. Now, before we wrap up this video, you know we gotta do the positive comment shout out, and today it goes to Joel and Kai. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, and they say, I've gotten 31 or 32 shinies in total from the Halloween event, though one third of them were not even event related, and also got two shiny Spiritomb, which was quite a mission. Well, I'm very happy for you. I'm glad you got two of them. I mean, they are quite a mission to get. Some of you guys got very lucky and got them like right away, but yeah, for me, obviously, you guys know that took forever. So I'm glad you managed to get two of them, and I'm glad you got a good amount of shinies. Hopefully you got a Yaw Mask. That's a really big one. And also some of the costume Pokemon, and especially the Gengar. I really hope you got the Gengar. And and with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video, and if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload, and also comment down below, have you done this Verizon event? How did you do? Did you get a shiny Pharaoh seed? And if not, are you going to be doing the Grubhub event? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you love my content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.